Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a triangular bag with a really quite cute clothes inside. Really quite sweet. I put my glue in the wrong place when I was putting this together, but I managed to get it open because it opens up like that. Now you've got quite a deep base. It's three inches, so seven and a half centimetres, but this is still eight inches, uh, 20 centimetres now. And to do that, you have to get a two inch side. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And that's why it closes up like this. And I quite like that little bit there. It's quite sweet. But it looks gorgeous when it's closed. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Isn't that lovely? That nice triangular close. And there's a seam there. So, gorgeous painted harvest. No, painted autumn. Stamp set's called painted harvest. Paper's called painted autumn. Okay, so... Piece of 12 by 12. 30 by 30 centimetres, so if you work in metric, you're going to need to trim yours down a little bit. Score it on the first side at one inch, four and a half, seven and a half, and 11 inches, which in metric is two and a half, 11, 19, and 27 and a half. Whiz it round and score it at two inches and 10 inches which is five and 25 centimeters. I'll have everything written down on my blog. So if you click open the description bar, you'll see it there. Okay, so the side where you've got four score lines, which you probably can't see very well, um, that paper is going to go the wrong way round. Um, or you're going to fold it because that's gonna create the bordered edge that I've got here. So that's the side where you've got four score lines. So get that one in first. fold it down and then the rest you just fold as normal that's a weird optical illusion because that looks like it's completely wrong oh it is <laughs> I've burnished slightly off Finished it ever so slightly out of alignment. There we go. That's straightened that line up. And then these ones again. So these are this is where you've just got two score lines. Get that folded and burnished as well. And over here. So the shape you're coming up with is that one with the one inch size and then obviously that folding up. So I would suggest getting these lines, these bits stuck down first. Oops, didn't tick off my fuse properly then. Okay, so now we want to score some lines or create some lines and what because you can't see on the paper very well, I'm going to draw in my score lines for you. Okay, so that's my score lines over on these sides here. So these are the two inch marks. I want to put that line to marry up with that. And so I'm just going to gently fold with my fingers. And I'm going to bring it up. I'm trying to work out how to get it up to show you. Probably not easily up. Can't do it up in the air. But that is where I'm pushing down. So I've got a kind of a triangle affair going on here. So can you see that? I've made that line marry up to that one. And do the same over here. So it's not going into the middle, which you often see with this kind of a box. It's going to the outside part. And I'm just po poking my finger into the corner. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this without my, getting my head on camera. And I'm going to do the same again over here. So I haven't put the score lines, the black lines in, but you'll have to believe me, they're there. Okay. 
and what you end up with is that kind of a shape. Now, if I was to fold that up, I'd have a big old gap there, which would not be pretty. So actually what I'm going to do is bring the paper round so that actually this mark lines up with this scored line and the same on the inside. You'll probably see it better on the inside. If I go round like that, that corner, should I just colour in the corner as well? Wrong paper, Samantha. That corner, that black bit is going to meet up to here. If I can get hold of it. I'm trying to look at the monitor and look at what I'm doing. And what you will get is this shape. Okay, my tip for you, <laughs> don't do what I did and put glue in the wrong place. So you only kind of want glue on that bit. Just this little part here. No, I'm not going to colour that in because I'll stick the glue on it and it won't stick. So just this bit. Because it will all come round. And if you can see, I'm lining it up. Oh, this is like we're looking at one of those games. This is it one of those um, crazy eye view things? Oh. <laughs> we can fix any error. You're never going to see that anyway. And it lines up. There we go. See? Look, and you won't know that I ripped off that bit of paper. So the same over here. So just, just in the corner. Not all over, because you end up sticking your whole bag together and you can't open it properly. So bringing it around again. And you go for that shape. Okay, so you have got a bow here, but that's okay, because when you push it together, because we want it to go, fingers in the sides and push in. you will see where you need to add bits of glue. So I need an extra blob of glue in there. This is where mini glue dots are brilliant. And if you watch my tip video from last week, you'll know I'm a big fan of mini glue dots, mostly because you can do stuff like this. You can stick a single tiny little blob of glue there. And that's it done. Marvellous. So I need another one down there. And this is one of those projects that you can't whack all of your glue on first because it's... Why did that just pin to? That's just twanged off there and I don't know where it went. It's probably inside the box somewhere. But <laughs> you can't put the glue all on first because you'd end up gluing the wrong bit, which is exactly what I did on my, um, my prototype. That actually, I really liked it. So... That's now all going to fold together nicely. So you just start pinching in at the sides. And there. And that might want a little bit of glue there. It does. Another mini glue dot. Get it in place. And that will pinch in. Now, it's a bit rounded. It's still quite cute. But I'm going to close it up. What have I done with my left my binder clips over the other side so put those on there and it's okay like that I actually like a smoother finish so I'm just going to come in with my fingers and poke it closed and the same there as well and our paper is good enough that you can do that you can't do that with every kind of um, pattern paper out there Pretty much only ours has got the quality to do that. But that is really pretty. I love the finish of that. That is so cool. And it'll open up like that. Hurrah! And I'll show you on my original one. I just, I willy nearly kind of just smeared glue all over it. And it's stuck. I can feel the glue. You can hear the glue. And so I came to start filming and I went, oh God, open the box and realised what I'd done. There you go, stuck in the wrong place. So that's why you only put that one little corner of glue first and then add in your mini glue dots afterwards. Right, let's get a little bit of something going on the front. So I've got obviously the matching stamp set. I love this phrase, your kindness means so much more than you will ever know. 
and I think that's one of those wonderful things that, that people act in a kind manner because they want to act in a kind manner. Right, what size do I want? I haven't done this for a while, have I? So I take my clear, my photopolymer stamp and I lay it on my grid paper, depending on whether you work in, in uh, metric or imperial. If you're in the UK, you get both, metric one side, imperial the other. But I lay my stamp out and I work out roughly what sort of a size I want. And I want a bit of a gap around this. So I'm gonna go for a piece of cardstock, two by three inches. Got my bit of very vanilla. I'm gonna cut it. I've got my trimmer, my lovely trimmer. Two by three inches. And I've got garden green because that's one of the greens in there. There's also lemon lime twist, I think, in that. And so saffron, I'm looking at it. I think there's always artichoke as well. And I'm going to try and look at this, but your yeah, the camera is right where I want to look. I have to hope that's central. And then I've got these lovely wooden shapes. Absolutely love these. Oh, look, there's one's popped out already. Um, which size shall I go for? I think I'm going to go for that little one. I'm going to pop that on the box on the bag before I put the final bits on. And then, ha ha, mini glue dots again. One on the back, oh, these are white on one side and natural wood colour on the other, so I can better get that on the right side. And that is my lovely Painted Autumn Painted Harvest bag with a triangular close which I think is lovely. And that's the way that I managed to get a box that's three inches by eight inches with a close like that. Anyway, I was gonna take them off screen then for a second. Thank you ever so much for joining me and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.